Our topic for today is city parks and urban forests. When most people think about cities, they picture concrete and asphalt. But if you live in the city and you're lucky, you have one of these, a green space, a park, or a forest. These are incredibly important for the urban environment. They mitigate the temperatures in the summer so you need less air conditioning. They provide habitat for lots of little creatures. And they're a great place to spend an afternoon. And what better place to talk about city parks than the nation's most popular city park? New York Central Park. If you live in a city and you're not as lucky as someone in New York City to have Central Park, you can get your own Central Park. You can organize, you can talk to your local representatives, you can get some space set aside for a green space, and you can build it up into a park. The most important thing about parks that make them work is people have to come to them. One of the things I love most about parks are the trees. They're great to look at, it's great to hear the wind and the leaves. They're really beautiful. They also serve a really important environmental purpose. They absorb carbon, taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. And they also do something called transpiration, which helps to lower summer temperatures. That's why it's really great to spend a lazy afternoon in the park. Another thing that I really like about parks are the lakes and the ponds. This is called the lake at Central Park. It's a great place to hang out, look at the reflection of the sky and the water, go boating. But it's also really important because it provides habitat for birds, migratory birds in particular. There are 275 separate species of birds in Central Park. And lakes like this are a big reason why they're here. If you listen carefully, you can hear them. Central Park was founded in 1857. It was designed, most people know, by Frederick Law Olmsted, who did a lot of the parks all around the United States. But his partner was a guy named Calvert Vox. The poor guy doesn't get any credit. They did a great job. It's a huge park. If you've never been here, it's amazing. Go to one of the hotels on, for example, Central Park South and go up to the top and look out northward and you will see this huge expanse of park going all the way from 59th Street to 110th Street. It's an incredible place filled with water and forests and amusement parks and zoos and outdoor theaters. It's an amazing resource for New York City and for the nation. Do you have a favorite park? Send us a video postcard about it and we'll put it on the blog and let everybody know about it at the Green Rock. And if you don't have a park, see if you can't get one. Work in your community and let us know how it's going. City parks, they're a great place to go to and they're good for the environment.